Hey everyone, today we are diving into the exciting world of blockchain consensus mechanism, specifically Fikuyosin on proof of stake PUS and how it's different from proof of work. We'll also look at some examples of PUS blockchains and chat about the benefits and challenges that come with PUS. What's proof of stake or POS? Well, PUS is a method used in blockchain networks to validate transactions and create new blocks. And like PUW, which relies on using heaps of computational power to solve complex puzzles, PUS requires validators to hold and stake some cryptocurrency to participate. So how PUS differs from POW? First of all, the energy consumption. POW needs a lot of computational power, so it uses up loads of energy. While PUS is more energy efficient, since it doesn't rely on solving tough puzzles. In proof of work, miners compete to solve puzzles, and the first one to crack it gets to add a new block to the blockchain. While in POS, the validators are picked to create new blocks based on how many coins they hold and are willing to stake as collateral. In POW, the security is kept tight by making puzzle solving hard, so it's costly to attack. While in POS, the security comes from requiring validators to stake their coins, which they risk losing if they act maliciously. I have some examples of blockchain that uses the PUS protocol like Ethereum 2.0, Cardano, and Polkadot. In Ethereum 2.0, we have shifted from POW to PUS to enhance scalability and cut down on energy use. In Cardano, we utilize the Ouroboros PUS protocol, emphasizing security and sustainability. Polkadot blockchain uses a nominated PUS system to boost governance and interoperability. During this explanation and comparison, we have revealed the most benefits of PUS. The first benefit is related to energy. PUS uses a lot less energy compared to POW. The second benefit is lowering barrier to entry. With PUS, validators don't need pricey hardware, making the blockchain more accessible. Another benefit is about scalability. PUS can handle more transactions per second, making the network more scalable. However, PUS have some challenges we have the risk of centralization. In fact, wealthier participants might have more influence, potentially leading to centralization. Another important challenge is about security concerns. While PUS is secure, it depends on the economic incentive of validators, which could be a weak spot. And last but not the least is complexity of this protocol. Setting up and maintaining PUS system can be tricky and requires solid governance. To sum it up, proof of stake offers a more energy efficient and scalable option compared to proof of work with several successful implementations in the blockchain space. But it comes with its own set of challenges that need careful management. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you now have a clear understanding of PUS and its role in the blockchain system.